Good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. Today, we are going to make some fresh tomato sauce. And I, ever since I learned how to make this, I have stopped buying anything in a bottle at the grocery store because this is so easy to do and it's so incredibly better. It just tastes a thousand percent better than anything. I don't care whether it's Mario Batali or Chef Boyardee, nothing beats fresh tomato sauce. So we're going to show you how to do it. These are some very overripe, as you can see, really soft tomatoes. And my mother, Adeline Anderson, is going to demonstrate how to make this. Um, she's already made one tape today, or one video today, uh, making some of her famous Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Uh, collard greens and tomatoes. I'm sorry, collard greens and, and turkey legs. But today, I'm going to let her show you how to make fresh tomato sauce, and I'm just going to be her sous chef. So take it away, Mom. All right, here we go. First, I have the water boiling in this kettle, and I'm going to carefully place in the tomatoes. Be careful that you don't splash that hot boiling water on yourself. All right, we have four here. And I think all we need is like a minute for them to be ready to take off the skins or peels or whatever you want to call them. So I have my favorite timer right here and I can time it a minute and then we'll take them out. There we go. When you take them out you could drain them right into there. Yeah, yeah. and I'll just put that underneath so you can do that. Susan <laughs> and her mother are very competitive, as you can see. No, you're very competitive. I am not competitive. Well, whatever. One of us are competitive. <laughs> but isn't it fun? You know, there is a place for elderly people. Don't you forget it. That's right. We, and that place is in the kitchen. Yes, we like to... <laughs> We like to be hams and, and get in the act and feel very useful. And as you can see, I have a walker. I kind of wore out my legs, but at least I'm in a vertical position, right? That's right. Okay. So it looks like we're about ready to do it. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. We don't want to cook them, that's for sure. So I have my colander here, and I'll place them in that, and when they cool off, I'll take off the skins, and I like to open them up and take out all the seeds. How about if I rinse them for cold, in cold water? That would be good. Suzanne's going to... I'm her sous chef, so I'm going to rinse them in cold water. The other thing that you could do is to have a, um, a, a bowl of ice water right here, and that would help to loosen the skins up. But I can see already that these skins are starting to come off, so I will just hand these back to Mom and let her demonstrate the rest of the... There, do you see how easy that skin came off? I just touched it, and there it is. So we'll go ahead and do that, then we'll cut them in half and take out the seeds. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and do one and show you. There we go. I'm just going to take it here and take out those seeds, and I'll put the tomato in this bowl right here and then Suzanne is going to put it into the blender. Well I could do that. Put yeah you can put it right into the food processor. The food processor. <laughs> I tell you 
It's good to work together with your daughter. Yeah. I hope more people, after they see this video, will say, hey, you know what? That's fun. Maybe I need to work with my elderly father or mother and get them out because we are very useful yet. There's many things we can do. That's right. I was a classroom teacher over 30 years, and I can still teach remedial reading. You know, what I've learned over the years is very helpful. So, there it is. Here, why don't you do some more of these real quick. All right, so she's going to keep me working. <laughs> well, so we can show them the rest of the recipe. I told Suzanne, I don't think they have a program, Mother Daughter, that's right. And I think they need to. That's right, especially if you're on the program, right? That's right. I mean, <laughs> what is more fun than to get in the kitchen with your daughter? I hear the telephone I'm ring. I'm going to go get the telephone. Yeah. The only thing, Susie works much faster than I do, but that's okay. And I have to keep my walker close by. Because one thing I don't have is good balance. But you know what? God is good, like I say. I am blessed. I still stand in a vertical position. And, and I have occasionally seen your moments. But that's all right, too. Sometimes Susie does. And she's not even a senior. She's my baby. So... There we go. Standing next to me is a Newfie. We happen to have four Newfies. Two are ours and two we are fostering. And soon they'll be adopted. So happiness is when you help others, share with others. And it's amazing how many people you can help. You know, your neighbors are everyone, not just the people next door. There are the people in Africa, there are the people in Alaska, and wherever. So, you just have to remember you have neighbors all over the world. And you can be a blessing to them. Right now, we're trying to get money together to put a for them to drill a well in India so that they have nice clean water there. Is it India or Africa? Both, I think. Really, I know it's in Africa and India. All right, I'm going to take this, dump this water out so that you can put the, the tomatoes in there once you're finished. Yeah, that's right. The, what is it, the Samaritan Purse? Samaritan's Purse. Uh -huh. They're doing a great job, and we try to try to help there. And also, a St. Jude's uh, Cancer Children's Hospital. Uh -huh. Yeah, For and I have research. all my costume jewelry that I have saved over <laughs> many, many years. And I thought I would take it. I'm going to go visit my other daughter in in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I thought I would take it and have a party with punch and cookies and put out all my costume jewelry and I have a great <laughs> I have a great deal of costume jewelry and then let them I'm gonna put a little can there and I have one here it says grandmother's grandma's money and I'm going to put that there, and whatever they take, let them put some money in it, and then we'll send it. You know, it's it's not how much you send. Every little bit counts. Okay, all the tomatoes are done, Susie. Okay. You take over. No, I'm going to let you keep going, because this is your tomato sauce. So you just put this on, all and right. you just close it like that, and okay. then you just push that button there. When do I stop? Well, when it gets to the as chopped up as you want. That's pretty good. Alright.
Okay. Does that look good? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now you have to just do that and then we pour it in here. In here, into this pan, into this pot that we boiled it in. See? There we go. And it's now a it's the tomatoes have been pureed. And it's just the tomato meat. The seeds have been taken out. So now what are you going to do, Mom? Now we're going to add a little butter. Okay. And we're going to add a bay leaf. Okay. What, one would be enough, wouldn't it? Or, oh, yeah. I think so, too. And we're going to add salt and pepper and a little olive oil, I believe. Okay. How about... Here's a, here is a knife, so you can put the butter in it, and salt and pepper to taste. And then we've got it. So that's it. You're just going to put it on a simmer, right? A yeah. Simmer. Okay. Good. I think that's everything. Can you think of any other seasoning you'd like? No, you could add some bay I mean basil at the end if you'd like. All right. But other than that, I think this is perfect. Do you think we need olive oil since we put in butter? No. All right, we won't put in the olive oil. I think that's going to be delicious. And, and just serve that over some... Uh, pasta and really you don't even need anything else. I think you'll be amazed at how delicious and fresh that tastes and I encourage you to get into the kitchen with your elderly parent or with your children and let them enjoy cooking with you because not only will you you create wonderful meals together you're going to find that you uh, enhance your relationships with each other because cooking does wonderful things for people. And it's a, another way to uh, share your love for one another. And it's surprising how much we still know. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> we had to learn something over 88 years, I believe. That's right. And we, we love to talk, as you can see. Some of us love to talk more than others. Not Susie, but I <laughs> love to talk. And sometimes it gets pretty quiet around here. And this is my opportunity of really, you know, sharing with you my new friends. And this is all new to me, and I'm making little mistakes, but that's okay. I've made lots of mistakes through life, but it's amazing how you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. So have a good day. We wish you the best. And remember the seniors, they still have something to offer. Goodbye. See you again soon. The, the daughter and mother team. Here we are. <laughs> Bye. Bye.